Hey Pisces, welcome to High Priestess Healing Tarot, where you are the High Priestess. Trust that gut over everything. Capiche? All right. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Please help me in pulling insights for the beautiful High Priestess Collective today. Oh my God, Pisces, what the fuck's going on? 19 seconds in, okay? Four of Wands, Two of Cups, Seven of Cups. What else we got for these, these crazy kids? Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you for all your support yesterday. I'm on the up. Oh, As she says it, spirit delivers. Say it, Pisces. I am the high priestess. Drop it in the comments. Drop it. Live chat. Are you going bananas? Louder. I am the high priestess. I believe patterns over promises. I observe behavior before I accept words. I trust my inner knowing. My higher self will always guide me, even if it doesn't make sense. I am the high priestess. I mean, when spirit's good, she's good. I was just going to say, I've been acknowledging the contrast of my experience lately. And look at that. The Empress in reverse. All right. We're moving out of, or maybe we just experienced, about of imbalance in receiving. I know this is like an ongoing, um, this is an ongoing journey for both the feminines and masculines here. There's a level of receptivity that we all collectively are working on. Um, and it's layers and it's scaffolded, right? Could also be maternal influence here in some way. Whether this is like the mother of your children, if you are a mother, your mother, your grandmother, a sister who is a mother. Wow. And the sun underneath. Lack of clarity, lack of clarity, overgiving. Okay. Wow. Let's see where this goes. Sometimes it feels like we're playing Clue. I am the high priestess in the ballroom with a knife. I'm just kidding. I don't promote violence. <sighs> Thank you, Spirit Guides. What do we got here for this Four of Wands energy? Four of Wands, celebration, stability, security, home. This could be graduating, commencement, relationships. It's the 1111 card. We got the moon in reverse, subconscious programming. Hmm, Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, partnered with heartache. Well, when I said clue, they were like, oh, you want a mystery? Here. Investigative discovery. Here we go. Let's see. My brain is like, is this last relationship or the one that you're thinking about right now, whether it's familial, friendship, or romantic? Is it a creation of your subconscious programming as a result of pain? Come on, spirit. You gotta drag us. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Let me zoom out. We need more thinking room here. Pisces Cancer Energy. Could be like um, the give and take was not visible. Unseen. Un invisible. Unvisible. Not visible. Tomato manana. You know what I'm saying. All right. Let me stop effing around here. Hmm, hermit, in, uh, hermit at the bottom. This is observing, right? This is going into stillness, I guess, to observe the conflict and shed light on it. Spirit, give me another for the Six of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Lowering your guard, being vulnerable, being vulnerable, vulnerable. Oh, God. There is a level of pain. <laughs> there is always a level of pain or risk of pain when we put ourselves in vulnerable situations. <sighs> Whether, you know, you express feelings for someone and it's not reciprocated or feelings are reciprocated but circumstances aren't working out or there are unknown factors influencing a scenario, lowering your guard, lowering your what is this? Wall? 
and being vulnerable is still powerful. You're not losing your power, Pisces, when you do that. Hmm. Okay, Page of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Wands in reverse. This is like a blocked message, right? Or blocked momentum, blocked journey. Well, Spirit, could you... Let's... All right, we'll see what else is going on here. This feels funny. Why is the Two of Cups here for Pisces? <laughs> okay, Pisces. Soulmate energy, clarity, being vulnerable, being naked, right? Vulnerable, naked. Naked soul. Um, also body, but, you know, gold bikini body for you too. Okay, God forbid. God forbid we have art. <sighs> Soulmate energy, the sun. This is like wish fulfillment, clarity. This is um, two people stripping down, taking off their cloaks and their boots and their headdresses um, and being real. That vulnerability, that authenticity, that stripped down version of like what hurts you, what moves you, what do you love, what what rocks you at night, what keeps you up at night, where do you feel? Sometimes the moon in reverse could be like your blind spots, your subconscious blind spots, like your shadow. It's your shadow. Um, so it's funny that we have the moon and the sun. Feminine, masculine. Feminine, since the moon is in reverse, I'd be curious um, what your relationship is to vulnerability I, no, ju I'm not judging, I'm not placing, I'm not projecting, I'm just asking, you know, I'm just posing a question. I am curious what the, what your comfort level of vulnerability is. I know that you're trying to do it. I'm wondering what your comfort level is. I think that the antidote to any, um, masculines too, if you're watching me, I guess we're all called together because we have some similar fiber in this like invisible universe goo of the collective, right? Masculines too. Um, I think that the lesson here is like when we start to share our pain, uh, our fears, our insecurities, and our wants, needs, desires, things that make us feel good, there's a level of sun or light or healing that brings vitality to yourself, an unfuckwithable energy to yourself, but also to relationship dynamics. Whether again, whether it's family, romantic partnership, friendships. The realer you get, I really believe that the realer you get, the realer people you attract. I really, <laughs> in my guts, feel that. You're still probably going to attract some bozos, but what are you going to do? Yeah, the ju as I say, bozos. Justice in reverse, like, things that were, okay, things that are unjust, unjust, imbalanced. Why is this justice here? Victory, though. Isn't this a wild, this is a contrast reading, is it not? How freaking wild is that? Okay, let me get into this magic. Hold on. <laughs> Why is justice here? Two of cups. Five of cups. Oh, Pisces. Okay. Pisces, were some of you... Let me show you what this looks like. It looks like vulnerability happened. It's so strange, right? Because look, Six of Pentacles is here with the Three of Swords. Talk about contrast. It's like the interest was balanced. The um, Maybe even the vulnerability that you shared, if this resonates, okay? If it doesn't resonate, just li listen. If, if it's not resonance, listen for the relevance, right? Take the relevant message, if, even if it's not your story. You could have shared your vulnerability and pain, like lowered your guard with the intention, right? I think we talked about intention yesterday, with the intention of vitality, truth, clarity, seeing things through. But it looks like something didn't, either this is pain from the past or this like recently-ish happened, ish. I don't know. Time is weird, right? Five, six, seven cups, seven of cups, confusion. It's like you were honest, but things still didn't work out. Is that real? Five, six, seven, eight, nine of cups. Yeah, now you're single. Oh my God, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know if this makes sense. Um, but Chip would tell me to just keep going. So I'm just going to keep going. Thanks, Chip. Pisces, that's what it looks like. It looks like you were really vulnerable and honest with the right intentions and it still didn't work out lovers in reverse 
could be with a Gemini, could be with a Libra. Oh God, could be with a Scorpio. Death under that. All right, it happened for a reason. I guess we'll see what's going on. So now you're confused. Five, six, seven of cups, seven of cups. Confusion. Does this make sense? Can you hit that like button if this resonates or if you're just, I don't know, interested in this episode? Because <laughs> it feels like an episode. Oh my God. Was it a test? Oh, my eyes are welling. Was it a test? Pisces, you did the right thing. Pisces, you did the right thing. Even if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling um, like your world got rocked, you did the right thing. Especially if you walked away from a masculine who was also overwhelmed, depressed, anxious, whatever. Uh, whoa. You completed a karmic test. It was a test. It was a test. Judgment, Wheel of Fortune, Reverse, Center of Cups. It was a test. To see how strong your voice throat chakra is. Expressing wants, needs, fears, desires. Whoa. Okay. More on this, please. Holy shit. Pisces, this was a test and you passed. Even if you're hurting. I'm with you. You're not alone. It's okay to not be okay. Don't feel like you have to show up any kind of way. Show up as you are. Come Everyone, everyone. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the frig? Okay, the test was, or is, or will be. Are you vulnerably expressing all of your wants, needs, fears, and desires with a person who's able to deliver? If they're not able to deliver, you're not able to receive. Are you spotting the red flags, judgment, red flags? Or was this your culminating activity <laughs> to practice spotting the red flags? There's, this is illusion energy. Don't, Pisces, I don't want you to be upset. If you are upset, it's okay. But like, this is illusion energy. Nothing's wrong with you and nothing's broken with you. Nothing's broken with you. Capiche? This is just, listen, I was just thinking about this. The tallest trees have the deepest, longest depths of the roots, right? It has to be balanced. That contrast has to be there. I can't believe this reading. Look. Okay, this is what I... You cannot know cold unless there is hot. Up unless there is down. Left unless there is right. Do not condemn the one and bless the other. To do so is to fail to understand the human experience. Nothing's wrong with you, Pisces. As high as you vibe and bright as you shine, there's also the contrast in the world. And like within ourselves too. Um, but I'm not going to dive into our shadow. We don't have the time for that today. But you know what I'm saying? As pure as you are, the contrast exists too. And I think spirit wants us to be aware that as cushy and safe space <laughs> as our Piscean way of living is, um, the reality is the reality which is contrast and they want us to have sharper noticing skills for ourselves because then we can help ourselves attract better procure better be better but we can help others too right because a lot of people what i'm noticing in those comments from last thursday the questions is like what's my purpose what are my gifts how should i use my gift should i leave if you're watching tarot it's not because you don't have a gift right all of us are doing the same thing. You got it too. Excuse me while the Department of Sanitation rolls by. Thank you, town of B and, B and Truly Sanitation. Sorry, guys. Okay. This test looks like it's ending any kind of conflict you've experienced before. Okay, five of wands in reverse is... I t I'll take that over five of swords, right? That's a little bit better. Um, Just make sure you're not <laughs> throwing yourself into work to avoid healing. Um, and make sure that you're not overdoing, overgiving. I think this is the lesson. Can you spot the undergivers? Can you spot when you're not receiving? This is like a two-layered cake. All right. Tell me about this high priestess spirit. Oh, God. Pisces, when you experience anxiety with someone, that's your sign. Especially if you're clairsentient. If you experience anxiety in your belly or your chest, or you get um, shaky or nervous, that's a sign. If someone, when they're around you, you're good, and then they leave you and you're feeling anxious, 
that's a sign. If you're talking to them on the phone and afterwards you feel tired and then you feel bad that you don't want to talk to that person because you know they didn't do anything wrong and it's an energy thing and that they're not going to understand it, that's a sign, Pisces. I'm giving you permission. You don't have to talk to anybody. I don't care if they're blood. I don't care if they're in your house. <laughs> if they, if you walk away not feeling good, that's your sign. We don't have time to ignore them anymore. We're doing something bigger. All right, why, is this high, why else is this high priestess here? Can you, <gasps> oh my God, goosebumps up my back. Spirit said what she said. Especially with all these clowns. Oh, let me not, though. Let me go here, please. I cannot. Pisces, spirit said what she said. And the sooner we stop ignoring it and make excuses for people, or we're like, oh, I'll just give them five minutes of my day and then I'll cleanse after. Stop doing that. I'm going to stop doing that too. I'm yelling at me. I'm yelling at me. It's not about you, okay? I'm with you. We have to stop giving people our energy if our energy is saying, no bueno, <laughs> no mas, mira, mommy, no, no, no more, please stop. Okay. And like, look at this. A knight and a page, two of pentacles, going back and forth. Are you going back and forth about a page, a kid and a knight? Somebody who's maybe attracted to you or someone younger than you or I don't know. Who cares even? No. Nah. Two wands, make two, two of wands, two of pentacles. You're the master builder of your life. If these people, fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, if they're not, listen, if it's not a hierophant and it's not a magician and it's not an emperor, I don't think it's for you, kid. I don't think it's for you. Masculine, flip it, reverse it for me, right? If it's not a high priestess and it's not an empress, I don't think it's for you, kid. All right, let me get off that. Give me one more for this high priestess row. Six of Swords, that's moving towards harmony. Will you, though, right? Nine and six is 15. Still breaks down to six anyway. That's you being a leader, going off on your journey. Pisces, I think unlocking this Empress in Reverse is actually, it's not just listening to the High Priestess, it's acting on it. I know that's hard. I think we're being called to act on it. And, like, that means moving away from anyone and anything that brings anxiety, worries, concerns, or uneasiness. Or if you get off the phone or you stop hanging out with them and you just generally don't feel good, you know, like you're depleted or you're like, ugh, I don't need to talk to that person for another three months. That's a sign, Pisces. Okay? Doesn't mean they're a bad person and it definitely doesn't mean you're a bad person. Water and oil. It just is what it is. They're both great things for two different, you know, situations. Give yourself, I'm giving you permission, Pisces. When you start acknowledging that, again, whether it's family or friends or romantic partnerships or coworkers, this is the big, big test. Oh my God. <clears throat> I like this. I want to go deeper. Spirit, give me additional insights here. Building a mystery. Okay, six of wands, nine of pentacles. So this is you being victorious. Hmm. It's like you're victoriously moving away from two things. Feels like codependency, like anyone who's like relying on you, but like they don't show up. Not they don't show up for you, but like, do you have any people in your life where you know that you provide them with the love, nurture, care, and support that they need, but you, <clears throat> you know deep down that they're not equipped to do the same for you doesn't make them bad but like do you deserve that Pisces? don't you deserve a team <laughs> who's equipped you don't always have to be the equipped one and the equipment and the equipped or whatever like you don't always have to do that you know I think you're moving towards um, recognition of yourself and like what you provide other people and what you're able to do. Maybe you're getting a hold of your on your emotions right now, and maybe it's by cutting people off who have access to you or limiting. If you're if it's hard for you to cut off people, I know I'm like I'm like an ice queen. I'm quick to cut. I don't care though. 
if you want to start with limiting access, that might be a great jump off, right? Like, I can only talk on the phone between this hour and this hour on these days, or you don't, you know, not responding to texts as soon as you get them, not responding to DMs as soon as you get them, maybe turning the notifications on your phone off so that you're not seeing the red bubbles and you're not feeling like pulled and drawn and urged <laughs> to check, right? You can explore ways to limit people's access. This could also be a water sign that you're not talking to, if that's applicable, could be this sitch if that's masculine or that could just be our masculines learning okay i have to start limiting my access with my kids or people who have um communication access to me right okay additional insights for pisces i like those different scenarios hey yo ace of cups here we go baby brand new emotionally fulfilling beginning it could be romance it could be love it could be well that's the same thing well no it's not Wow, do you hear all the personalities? Listen to me. You hear all the personalities in my head? I tell people, like, I lean so woo. Um, it's like Wu-Tang Clan. There's like 12 different spiritual personalities inside of me at any given time. Okay, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you for accepting me. The more you stand your ground. See how you're slightly elevated? And these six wands are pointing up at you. And you are kind of like looking down. Not to be condescending, it's just a visual archetype, right? Stand your ground, Pisces, you're ascending. And part of the responsibility of ascending is very uncomfortable truth. And the radical uncomfortable truth is not all of these people are able to be you. <laughs> it just is what it is. And so that means they got to go or they got to have limits right? Color inside these lines. That's it for you. I think when you do this and you honor this more and more with your free will, more blessings come in, more people that are aligned with that come in. Whoa, hermit in reverse. Sheesh. Are you coming out of a long hermit period? Are you coming out of a long, like the dark night of the soul that we all just like endured, right? This freaking winter. Are you coming out now and you're like, I'm here and I'm going to take up more space and I'm going to be seen, right? Because the hermit in reverse is like the opposite of the hermit. The hermit's alone in solitude. Hermit in reverse, I'm going to be seen. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine down your throat. Okay. I'm not keeping them, but hello, dark night of the soul. Yeah, look, and all that fire energy that everybody had to say goodbye to, everybody had to cut off communication with, everyone felt lonely in those fire connections, right? Shout out to all the Pisces who had these like airy Sagittarius Leo tower experiences in the winter and the fall where you cut off because you were feeling lonely in the connection. There's nothing worse than when you feel lonely with someone. God, that's brutal. Anyway, let yourself be seen. I love what's happening here. Gold bikini. Okay, let me slow my shuffle roll. Can you hit that like button if this resonates? Thank you so much. I love you. <gasps> yes. Here we go. This is what we came here for. This is what we came here for. Show me you love me. Show me you love. Robin. What it's all about. All right. Whole new world. Whole new world. That's the two. Uh, judgment, right? Two tens is a 20. That's judgment. You pass it. You pass test. Okay, Pisces, this is it. This is the confirmation. Today's lesson is contrast. It's all about contrast. Showing up authentically, even if people are not reciprocating and even if people reject you, do it anyway. Because then you're going to start to see patterns in people that opens your eyes to a different level of awakening with the human experience. The illusions of like, I'm really soft, I'm really gentle, I'm really loving. That will probably help these people like open up or wake up or pour into me. That's not always the case. But keep doing it with discernment and noticing how you feel when these people don't show up for you the way you do. How do you feel when these people just maybe show up as their, their authentic selves? How do you feel? If it doesn't feel right, you got to go. No matter how much you like that person, it's okay. The more you do this, the more emotionally stable you're going to become. Limiting access to your energy is your currency. Your energy is your currency. Your energy is your wealth. 
If we're manifesting actual wealth in 3D, start with your energy, Pisces. That's the number one way to go. And when you continue to do this, you step into your light, you say no to people, look at what spirit wants to bring you. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, and a whole new world. Because you close out a, a cycle by doing the hard thing, two of wands, stepping outside the comfort zone. And it's taken how long? Four decades? Four months? Four years? Okay. Yep, four of pentacles in reverse. Release it. Okay, this feels right. This feels good. There's something coming in, or it's trying to come in, right? This has to happen uh, consistently. I don't think it's a one and done thing. Mm. Yeah, whatever you had to walk away from and say goodbye to, there were things unseen there for a reason. You were like not supposed to see it, not supposed to know it. You're spo the test is how much do you trust you? Oh, baby. Okay. Good with the insights. Let's get some potential outcomes. Hit us good with that good, good spirit. Potential outcomes for High Priestess Collective. You are the High Priestess. Listen to me. If you didn't write it in the comments, can you please go down in the comments right now? Big capital letters. I am the High Priestess. What does this mean, Pisces? It means throughout your day, all parts of your day, you don't have to worry. All you have to do is read the energy. You don't even have to speak, Pisces. Actually, it's better if you don't. <laughs> Chill. Vibe. Watch the vibe. You are the keeper of the vibe. All right. <gasps> That's it. This is what I'm fucking talking about. Thank you, spirit. Let's go. The sun. Here we go. Look. See her solar plexus lit all the way up? Because the high priestess doesn't just observe, right? She observes and then she makes the hard decision. The seven of wands, that's solar plexus energy. Page of wands in reverse, that's solar plexus energy. It's, this is a boundary. You don't have this much access to me. I know my worth, so I'm saying no. Then you get your wish fulfillment, everything under the sun. Love, peace, tranquility, support, friends, tribe. I mean, you might as well chill. Yeah, after this. If you're feeling like this, Pisces, this was me like the last <laughs> four days. That's okay. That's okay. Cry it out on the floor. Get on your knees. Ask the hard questions. Tell them you don't want to feel this way anymore. That's okay. We're supposed to hit that bottom. And then when you're ready, let the gold hand roll you over and go into the light, Pisces. Go right out of this darkness into that light. It's waiting for you. You know what's in that light? That sun. It's waiting for you. Okay. Wow. Yep. And there we go. Death, Wheel of Fortune. This was the ego death. Did we talk about this? Yeah, right? With the three deaths? Yes. This is an ego death if you are going through it. When you complete it, you will have honored all of the phases of yourself the light and the shadow. Love them all, Pisces. We are taught not to. And I'm telling you, love them. The parts of yourself that you're like, I don't like it, or I'm not worthy, or I don't want to do this anymore. Talk to that voice like it's a little kid and give that little kid what it needs. It's okay to not want to be hurt. It's okay to not feel good. You are always worthy. You are always lovable. You came here to be different, so your pain's going to be a little bit more intense. But that means that your happiness is going to be more intense, too. One more. This little light of mine. Wow. Boundaries, baby. Queen of voices, queen of swords. You tell them. Look at this contrast, the white and the, and the black, right? The crow's death and rebirth, death and rebirth. The old tailor's dead. The old Pisces is dead. Speak your fucking truth, even if it makes them uncomfortable. Other people's feelings are not your responsibility. <gasps> that was the test. Okay, got it. I'm stopping here. Awakening. That is the that is judgment. This is the judgment card. Look at this. Opening up your heart chakra right under your throat. God, this is beautiful. Look at that comet. Surrendering to this. Pisces. Pisces, this is it. 
Stop giving people access to you. Don't. If they can't. If you can't sit in empress energy around people and receive, they're not your people, right? If you feel anxious after you're with them or while you're with them, they're not your people. If they're not consistent, they're not your people. If they have a hard time facing their own truths, guess what? They're not your people. Okay. I'm going to get a light priestess and then a message from spirit. Thank you for being here, guys. I love you so much. I'm going to finish reaching out to everybody's questions today and tomorrow the latest. I have like a third left. It's going to be like over a, th a thousand comments on that um, video. All right. Insights for Pisces. Calming the waters. Peaceful self-regulation. Card number three, mind, body, and soul protection, right? Moving from fawning, the baby deer, right? Fight, fight, freeze, fawn, for anyone who's well-versed in therapy. <laughs> Moving away from fawning and wearing the buck antlers yourself. You are the buck, Pisces. Also, we got some healers out here. If you've been waiting on like, I don't know, taking that Reiki course, taking the energy course, taking the hypnosis course, whatever it is, you're a healer. This is your sign. Healing you through that spiritual journey, um, spiritual practice, right? Learning how to give your gift to other people. It's only going to heal you more and release what no longer serves you. This is you stepping into your light, stepping into your three, divinity. What are you waiting for? Opening heart. Look. Heart. Heart. When you honor you the most, that's when you show up for society the best. Deep connections, water blessings, go to the beach, go to a pond, go to a river, go to a creek, go to a stream, whatever you need to do. Take a bath, take a shower, whatever. If you're a Pisces, you need that water, guys. We need it. I feel off. If I don't go to the beach every day, I feel off. Card number 11, Master Manifester. What is it that you want to do, Pisces? You want to walk away from your matrix life and create a healing business? Do it. I did it. Do it. What do you want to do, Pisces? You want to move to the water? Go. Okay. New moon meditation. I'm so bad at promoting this. Okay. New moon meditation on 420. Uh, it's going to be manifestation, guided meditation. If you want to come and uh, manifest whatever it is that you want. It's also solar eclipse day. So it's going to be amplified energy. The link to that is in the comments and the episode description box. And I have a couple spots left, for, <laughs> literally only a couple spots left for April if you want your own reading. Otherwise, you can book it out into May. Thank you, guys. I'm so excited to read for you. All right. Messages for Pisces. I knew it was going to be throat chakra. Speak your truth, Pisces. Be authentic. The right people will stay. The right people will gravitate to you and the rest will fall away or find their place, right? Card number 14 is five. This is going to change things in your world. That's that Queen of Swords energy. It's, it's The Queen of Swords comes out after she trusts her High Priestess energy. Goes High Priestess, Queen of Swords, Seven of Wands, right? And then you step into the Empress. Then you're honoring your ability to receive and get what you want. Okay. Additional messages for Pisces. I love this. We keep getting this one. Next level. Think big. You're moving to the next level. I just saw you're moving. So I was like, if you're thinking of moving, go. Go. Go, 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 go. Card number 48. What is that? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Breaks down to 3. 3, 3. And past lives. Complete your unfinished business. Ooh, look at the pyramids. This is wild. Card number 39. 9, 10, 11, 12. That's also 3. I don't know where to stick you. Pisces, this feels amazing. I love this. Um, I love you. Thanks for being here. I hope to see you guys this week um, at the meditation. Thank you for holding me the last few days. I feel so much better. I'm like crawling out. I had like my own epiphany of like, oh, we're not being a sad girl anymore. Like we're not going to be sad over people that 
don't warrant this extension of sadness. That was so nice of me. <laughs> I love you. Can you hug me? I'm hugging you. Thank you for being here, guys. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Go Pisces today. Go use that fucking voice. You're the high priestess. Bye.